Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled isn't your run-of-the-mill remaster, though it was heavily marketed to be a one-to-one -one remake of the classic CTR, it has so much more added. All tracks from Crash Nitro Kart have been added and adjusted for a better CTR experience, along with brand new tracks that were created from the minds of the team over at Beanox. Characters as well from the entire Crash and even Spiral universes that haven't seen the light of day in decades have also made their debuts on the track even characters that never even existed before. One of the new features that each of these characters has is a slew of new skins for you to select from, and it just so happens that some of them are references to deep crash lore or even pop culture. In today's video, we're going to be looking at all the references that each skin has. Let's talk about it! Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Guy here and back with a CTR video. As I mentioned, we're going to be going through a slew of different skins for the racers that you can play as. Now, before we jump in, there's a few notes that I want to mention. One, I am currently typing and making this script on May 27th, 2020, and there might be a new patch that comes out that adds more characters and skins, so there might be some I missed due to well, not being gifted with the gift of foresight. I must apologize profusely, apparently. The next thing is that there are a lot of skins in this game. Like, a lot. So I might miss a reference or two. Leave a comment below if you think I did, and I might make a part two. And lastly, I will not be referencing generic tropes. What I mean is, no, I'm not gonna call Werewolf Tiny a reference to a common concept of the teenage werewolf or Neon Nina being a reference to what seems to be the Mexican holiday, Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead. So, let's begin. We're going to start with Crash Bandicoot. The first one is his skunk skin. Now, this one actually might raise an eyebrow to some of you, but that's because it's just a basic recolor. But if you look back to Crash Bandicoot Warped, Entropy calls him a certain specific insult. time you little skunk give me the crystals entropy calls him a skunk which likely inspired this skin to be made crash also has a skin reference to star wars with a space aviator recolor if you look at the shape and color of the helmet you can see it has an uncanny similarity to the star wars rebel helmets used while flying an x-wing starfighter a nice little nod to the sci-fi mega franchise the last one is Mad Scientist Crash. This one is a simple nod back to one of the earlier Crash Team Racing games, Crash Tag Team Racing, where you also could unlock skins for various characters, and one of those skins was originally Mad Crash. Now, we move on to Cortex. Cortex has a ninja skin that is a reference to his skin back in Crash Tag Team Racing, Neo Fu, but the Cortex skin that's deep in lore is actually the Clown Cortex skin. According to the very first game's manual, Cortex was born in a traveling family of carnies and clowns. He didn't exactly fit in and was very shut in, but was heavily mistreated, until one day a tragic accident had happened, basically killing Cortex's entire family and leaving him to fend for himself. Kind of depressing, eh? And it kind of matches his victory animation where he's still kind of sad, even though he wins. Next up is Tiny, our favorite Tasmanian tiger. Yes, for those who don't know, Tiny is not a Bengal tiger, he's a Tasmanian tiger. Interesting, eh? Anyway, he has one reference that came in the most recent patch. A recolor of General Tiny gives him the effect of M. Bison, a well-known fighter from the Street Fighter franchise. And, well, established meme. Coco is next on the list with four different references. The first one is quite obvious with Alice Coco being a direct reference to Alice in Wonderland. And if that apparently doesn't convince you, just look at the victory animation. It's 
literally from a scene from Alice in Wonderland. Come on. She also has a skin called Princess Coco, which once again is a skin from Crash Tag Team Racing. But then we hit two skins that hits a bit deeper within the lore. Dark Coco is a PG reference to what was originally Evil Coco, a cut character from Twin Sanity from one of the dimensions. Some people have debated whether or not this is a reference to Dark Coco because of the fact that so many changes have happened. But if you look at the crest on the chest, you can see that it's the same rose, along with the fishnet stockings being replaced with fishnet pattern leggings. The next one is actually Beach Coco, which is one that I didn't expect. But one of the first and original drafts of Coco is her in a breezy summer outfit, which actually bears some resemblance to Summer Coco, especially the partially tucked in hip skirt. Dingo Dial is next on the list. Now, if something looks weird, and it don't look good, and it somehow is related to bugs, then you better call Dingo Dial's Extermination Service, or as I would like to call it, the Bug Busters. Dingo Dial's brown jumpsuit for his hazmat Dingo Dial skin is heavily referenced to Ghostbusters, with, again, the brown jumpsuit and the cross sign through a bug that has resemblance to the Ghostbusters logo. And, I mean, Dingo Dial doesn't have a proton pack, but a flamethrower is close enough. Polar actually has two references. The first one is Caring Fisherman Polar, which is a direct reference to Polar being, well, I suppose a Care Bear, a popular kids TV show from the 90s. And Polar had received a Viking skin during the Spyro Grand Prix. Now, this one requires some context because it's actually a bit deep in Spyro knowledge, as the balloonists that transferred you from world to world were originally going to be Vikings and used boats instead of hot air balloons. There is a few images floating around the internet showing them off, but it's not commonly known. So this is actually a really subtle reference. Pura has one reference, Lion Pura. While the concept of the skin is actually fairly simple, the victory animation seems to be a reference to the Lion King. During the famous transition of age scene from Hakuna Matata as Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa walk across the log. I would show the animation, but Disney would probably slit my throat if I tried. So if you're interested, just go look up Hakuna Matata. Penta Penguin has one skin reference to the penguins that littered the overworld in Crash Tag Team Racing, who were all dressed in ninja outfits. Penta Penguin sports one as well that's a bit more fleshed out, but the concept is still there. Pinstripe got a recolor that gives away its reference in its name, Negative Pinstripe. If you ever played Insomniac Spider-Man, then you would know that the main baddie was Mr. Negative, someone whose suit and even skin color goes the style of a photo negative that you would use in a dark room for photo development. An interesting and intriguing reference for the crime boss and bodyguard. Oxide has probably one of the most obvious references in the entire game, donning the look of a band member from KISS. The boots, face paint, and among other things kind of gives that obvious fact away, but nonetheless it is a major pop culture reference. Nash, Pasadena, and Von Clutch all have references to the world famous daredevil Evil Knievel, with the white outfit and the miscellaneous stars and stripes, a matching theme for the Neon Circus Grand Prix for its time. Geary actually now has a fantastic legendary skin that comes from an interesting place. This skin specifically for Geary was actually at one point Beanox's mascot. And if you have played some of Beanox's older games, then you would have seen the mascot at the beginning of their games causing shenanigans and destruction. The character was also created by none other than Thomas Wilson, one of the directors of CTR who has made his appearance multiple times on this specific channel in interviews. Baby Crash has a very subtle reference from the Crash of the Titans and Mind Over Mutant games with his monster PJ Crash skin. His little onesie that he wears is actually Ratsicle, a giant mutant bipedal rat that can freeze things at its will. A nice subtle nod to Crash's past during the Titans era. Nasty Nork has quite an interesting reference with Magma Nasty Nork. If you are a World of Warcraft fan, then you might have recognized that his skin is a reference to the elemental Fire Lord from the depths of Black Rock and within the Molten Core, 
Ragnaros, an infamous final boss and one of the very first raids that people would likely ever do. Now, I have three honorable mentions that are currently set as a maybe reference. As in, I'm not 100% sure if these are references or not, but Polar has a skin that seems to resemble Captain Price from the Call of Duty franchise, relating to the hat and military gear. Pinstripe has a skin that could be a reference to Crocodile Dundee, and Koala Kong seems to have some sort of a StarCraft Marine skin with the Space Marine outfit. That's all for references for skins. Did I miss any? Let me know in the comments section below. And if more skins and content pops up in the future, I'll be sure to cover it in a part two. A huge thank you to all those who support the channel through Patreon and being a sponsor on the channel. If you'd like to help it out, check out the links in the description below where you can buy some CGE merch or become a Patreon. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming and nostalgic content. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.